look at this. 100. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And if you guys ever wondered what a storage auction buyer comes across during their career of buying storage units, even though we've only been doing it for nine-ish months, we're about to show you the top 10 storage unit finds that we have found. So like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with number 10. This number 10 find consisted of the ring that we had given back to the sister. I'm beating me. Um, I just wanna tell you, my, my sister was not, not just my sister, but she was a, a mother. She had three children and a three-year-old grandchild. It, it just, it was senseless, senseless. It made no sense at all. She lost her life over nothing. He took her from us. He took my niece and my nephew's mother. I don't have much money. I mean, our, our family, we, we ain't got much money, but I appreciate you coming down here and stuff. Um, I, I would like to give you back some kind of money for what you paid for that unit. During their emotional story and we have found the article and everything about it So we ended up returning it to her and overall it was a first for us But I mean it just shows like what stories can actually come about when you're doing storage units our number nine find This find came out of a storage unit in Maryland now in this unit as you guys can see over here was filled with LeBron's Jordan's uh, Nike's we made so much money off of this stuff and this is kind of the stuff that we find more often than not but overall big profit awesome to find baby Jeebus also got a few pairs so overall it was awesome number eight so the number eight find was the Mac desktop that we actually found and it ended up being locked out and we couldn't have we didn't have the Apple ID or anything so eventually after a couple months of it just sitting in the closet I got on there I googled a bunch of stuff and it took like probably two or three hours to figure out some kind of code that I can put into the command prompt to get everything to factory reset. And we actually sold that one for about $400. Number seven. Our number seven finds are gonna consist of all of these small cash finds that we have found throughout our nine-ish months of doing the storage auction business. So I know we found like $160. I know we found like small chains here and there. I know there's been like 20 bucks, 100 bucks, all kinds of stuff like that. So everybody that does not do storage units you know that you it's possible to find money number six so our number six find actually came from probably the worst smelling unit we've ever cleaned out this was the one with the the fermented pee and all the bottles of who knows what it had a sword and a ps4 is what i'm referring to for this number six find oh Get the oh, f out of here! No way. Get no way. Out of here. How does this happen two times in a row? We gotta, oh. <laughs> we gotta call. We gotta text them. I feel like, I guess what? We found one. This, oh my this god. This makes it so worth it. You know what? This saved if it. If it works. Real. If it works. Look how dirty it is. Yeah, look, this one's worse than the other one. Look at that. That USB is full of dirt. But we got canned air and stuff like that at home. The PS4 is actually sitting in our living room right now. We played it like the first night we went and got controllers for it and everything. So that was epic. So before we get into our top five finds, I want to show you a couple of the worst finds. I'm going to show you like two. So if you guys want us to make a video like a top 10 of the worst storage unit finds so you guys know what you could come across if you get into this business, let us know down in the comments. So the two of the worst finds that uh, right off the top of my head I can remember is the dead body of the turtle. Guys, I was almost hoping I wouldn't be right, but <laughs> we just took down the tank. It smells horrible. That's a freaking dead turtle. Oh God. That is a dead turtle. What the hell, man? This guy, I have got my fingers crossed, is rotting in prison or dead himself right now because that's just messed up. And probably the like coffee can full of whatever liquid and like a chicken bone. Enjoy. I know a lot of people like to put tons of change in these. That was my hopes. There's water in it. Ew. Mm, I'm scared to open it. I'm scared to open that too. I'm scared it's going to stink. Oh gosh. Open it. What the hell is that? 
Does it smell like anything? No, it has no scent at all. It does have, oh my God. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, you know what it smells God. like? It smells yeah. like river water. Like somebody literally took this down to the Potomac River and got water out of it. Oh my God, it smells That's exactly so what it smells like. Which is really random, but it's some of the random and smelliest and dirtiest thing that you can find in a storage. Number five. This number five find came out of a hundred dollar unit that we found in DC. This unit was super clean, took like five minutes to clean out, and it ended up being from like a foreign exchange student or somebody that had lived there, for, but their hometown was like another country. And we found a whole bunch of their college stuff. So um, they had a bunch of clothes, uh, school paper, all that kinds of stuff. But we ended up pulling a leather- Jeez, Let, let's talk about these boots. These things are selling on eBay for over $200 used. The one I was looking at has bids on it already for over $200 and it still had over a day left in time, which means they can get jacked up even more. Some of the ones that have sold are selling upwards of $300 in used condition. And the one pair I looked at is sold for $250 something. They have a lot more damage to them than these do. These look very, very pristine compared to the other ones. And the actual name was, I don't know what the heck I was reading at first the first time, but it's right on the bottom. It's um, Isabel Marit or Merit or something like that. But it's a UK brand, right? I think it was a UK brand, I don't know. Something over here was a UK brand, but they're definitely European. We found out the owner of the storage unit was German, so they have a lot of foreign clothes products that are actually high end, but these are about $250 boots in this condition, which, that blew my mind. The Ugg boots too, they're authentic and I see that pair selling for about $8,200 or so. All we did was really dust them off. I forgot to take them up here, but all I did was dust them off and they're basically brand new. There's not even nothing on the bottom of them. So that was epic. This jacket, guys, this jacket is crazy expensive. Now I cannot find the exact model, but these Bell Staff leather coats, this is genuine leather, of course, it says all that on it are selling for a hundred of dollars. There's certain ones that are selling for over $400. Leather jacket that was Bell Staff brand and we sold that for $200. And then there was also Isabel Morant Knowles boots that were like wedged heels for $280. So a hundred dollar unit and just off of those we made 480. Number four. The number four find came out of the $170 two-parter video that we went through last week. This is the one where we found the box of purses that had Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, and a bunch of other miscellaneous items. So the two Louis Vuitton bags that we had, we sold for a collective $650. That's crazy. Number three. So this time we were in Richmond and we found a case that kind of looked like a toolbox case but we weren't sure so we saved it for last of course and it ended up having a gun in it just one single gun no ammo no anything else so after we left the facility we actually went to the police station just to see how we could legally get this to be ours and all we had to do I can't remember what it's called but all we had to do was pay a $25 fee and it was ours a good addition to our collection. Number two. So our second storage unit find, which was completely epic because it was our very first storage unit that we ever got starting this. And it was the records that we didn't see while we were bidding, but we saw them once we dug in it a little bit. There was like 10 total boxes full of records. So we had to split this one up. We went to like a record shop. We let somebody nitpick a few and then we sold the rest of them as a lot. And we made $600 total on those records, which we weren't expecting at all. Number one. So the all time best storage unit find we have ever found doing this was a thousand dollars cash. And this was in our second unit. So of course we got completely spoiled by our first two units, which was unfortunate, but we still find good finds along the way, as you can see from the last nine. But this is the one that we found the American cash, which I, we're assuming that they were collecting money and the Guatemalan cash, which totaled up to be around a thousand dollars. Now, when we found this money, we found some on video and then some when we brought it into the house and like set it everywhere on the floor in the basement and started going through everything. We found like $60 in like a bill envelope and then all of a sudden he was just like, whoa, and he started counting it and it was like old $100 bills, which makes me think that it was a collector. And I wish that we would have gotten our reactions on camera because it was 
crazy. We screamed, went upstairs, told grandparents, told his mom, told his brother. We were ecstatic. So this is definitely the best find that we've ever had in our nine months of doing this business. All right guys, so we hope you like this video. If you want us to do a worst top 10, then again, let us know down in the comments and we'll bring that to you guys. But that is gonna be it for this one, so I hope you enjoyed again. If you did, leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you're not already, follow us on our social media links. I'll pop them right here on the screen and they'll also be in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.